All right, so for the last three weeks, I've been bouncing around Colorado, around the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, and inside of Denver, and I've been sleeping out of my truck the entire time. Now, today marks the first day that I'm not gonna be sleeping in my truck because I've gotta get some work done on it that I can't necessarily do myself. This is definitely not my truck. <sighs> All right, so here we are at the shop. I've got to say goodbye to my truck. I think I can trust the people here because check out these wigs. I have an appointment for Maverick. All right, so while I was picking up my truck, I walked in and this isn't, you can't see this in the video, but there was a very cute girl sitting in the doorway of the, uh, the automotive shop. After m minutes of pacing back and forth, going into my truck and whatnot, I somehow mustered the courage to get her number. I left and went to go do my laundry and I was like, Maverick, you should take this girl on a date. Like next time you're in Denver, like you can take her on a date. And then the other me was like, dude, when the heck are you gonna be in Denver again? You should take her on a date tonight. So I texted her, I was like, it's like three in the afternoon. I was like, hey, you wanna go out to dinner? And uh, ended up working out. So we went out to dinner, had a good night. And she let me know that her and her friends are going to Moab like the next morning. And me being me, I was like, ah man like i don't know really like want to do some fishing in colorado and i got some stuff to do this weekend maybe not yeah, i woke up in the morning and i was like man uh i really think i should go and heck with every other responsibility so that's exactly what i did We're in Utah, baby, on BLM land, heading into Moab right now. Am I in the right place? <laughs> What's up? All right, so right now I'm just airing down my tires. I'm probably gonna go down to like 40 PSI, but we'll see. Do you live out of this thing, man? I am right now, yeah. Hell yeah, that's it. What's your name? Gabriel. Maverick, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. This trail shouldn't be too bad, so I'm gonna do 35 PSI. We'll see. What's up, man? I'm so, Brian. Maverick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Carly, nice to meet you. Maverick. Are you guys from Denver? We live, we live in Denver. There. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Maryland. Maryland? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're like East Coast. I'm from Pennsylvania. All right, we just got to the trailhead. Uh, yeah, we're off the beaten path now, so. And so we'll see you guys when we get to the top of this crest. What What's the objective here? Where do I want to go? Ooh, mommy. Best for last. This is so cool. I, know. I was not expecting this at all. What were you expecting? In like desert bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this is the first time I set up the, the awning in the sun. I've used it in the rain before, but perfect spot for it. Got some shade. Look at this view. I had no idea this is the car. We got two cars up here. Looks like somebody's throwing a tent up over there. Um, Jeep. Looks like a lot of people are camping out of the SUVs tonight. This thing's pretty sick. There's another Jeep over there, and then there's another like Lexus, like right behind my truck.
No, no, I, I'm not. It's like officially the most amount of people that I've ever had in my truck. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Kind of messy at the It's so beautiful. I'm oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Time to sleep. Good morning. Want a sausage? <laughs> Dude. Yes, it is. How's the style? It's a twin. Mm -hmm. I actually think I like it. I didn't realize. You got me getting into the truck so <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I'm so bottoming out. There's no way I don't. He has so much more clearance than me. There's no way I do this safely. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> As far as I know. Did you crunch at all? Uh, I hit the exhaust tip. I heard it go. Ding! All right. So it looks like we got a bad CV axle. Got hung up on a rock. Plan is to just get it to be able to work in two wheel and get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice hat. Thanks. <laughs> We're all kind of hung up waiting out until we can get this car moved. No worries. Alright, here we go. Can we just rip it out now? Yeah, I might call him up. She gone. Take your shirt off. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that a pretty common thing to break? Um nice common time. Yeah, in terms of off-roading. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's gonna have to winch. All right, so now we're just going to winch the truck up. Took off the CV arm. This is two-wheel drive and can't quite get it up yet. You're good. Keep going straight back. Guys, you're under a rock right now. We're fine. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good job. We saw different lines right there. Yeah. <laughs>
This is this is the cute girl from the truck shop. If you guys haven't put it together so far, so we're gonna go hang out at a Hot Springs. I'm probably gonna sleep overnight at this Hot Springs, and uh, I don't know. It's been a fun weekend. I didn't film much of it honestly because I was having too much fun. Let's just put it that way. All right. Well, we're at the Hot Springs now. So guys, yeah. hey. please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> New videos every week. Okay. All right. This is like the last thing that we're doing before we all depart. It's like snowing out. There's fog. It's pretty. I'm glad I'm still here to tell the story, and the truck is also. It's really awkward uh, doing this overland stuff with a uh, a truck with such a long wheelbase. Because like as soon as you're clear in one side, like you got to worry about your internals. But we made do. Um, I think I'm going to go back to Moab by myself and hopefully, I don't know, I think it'll be a different experience. So I had a lot of fun with these guys. Shouts out to the lobsters. Thank you guys for tuning in this episode. And as always, until next time, my name is Maverick and you're under the drill. Just keep on trucking.